people, Smithers R, aka Smithers to the motherfucking R, aka Smithers R rated, here today, here today, like seven fucking take, I keep fucking up. <laughs> you Choten Kazuku episode, <laughs> episode six motherfucking review. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to start this off by saying that this might be one of the underrated series so far in anime that I don't, I think a lot of people should watch. Like should get into if they are haven't already. I can't wait until this is over so I can make a nice overview for it. Maybe get a couple more people to watch it because it seems really good right now. It does. I mean, this episode it's only episode six, but everything's just come come together in a weird sort of way. And now there are only like a few things that I'm wondering. But let's just break it down, okay? I'm not gonna do my normal type of review where I say everything that happened step by step because unfortunately I'm too chilled out for that <laughs> as you can see I'm just chilled like I don't know why but I have my days where I'm high energy and good and shit and then other days I'm like ah like fucking just chilled out like relaxed and I don't I don't know because it makes it harder for me to go step by step like I usually like to do but this episode review is definitely going to be a little bit different Okay, this is, this is, I'm just going to go with a couple of key points because this, since this was a dialogue heavy episode, just like World Only God Knows, I'm going to have to change it up because I just can't transpire what happened and what happened and what happened is a dialogue heavy and as such, I'm not going to read word for word exactly everything they said and so it's kind of, I uh, can't really do that shit. What I will say though is this this episode, you Ten Kazuku, episode six. It was really good. We got a couple key things that we needed to know. Like number one, um, probably one of the most weirdest things that we learned in this fucking episode, which is, what is it? Ben Ten. She was fucking kidnapped as a teenager by that old professor motherfucker, that old man. He kidnapped the bitch. Like, literally, she's walking on the fucking beach like, do -do 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 -do. This, feel, this water feels so good. What's that? Ah! Like, fucking took it away. You can see her fucking shoes and her book just left there. I'm like, damn. Damn, that's kind of fucked up. I mean, they definitely need to get into a more detailed position on that. Like, because, I mean, did he just kidnap the bitch? And it's like, then he taught her the Tengu ways. That's what I'm wondering. And then she just fucking left one day. Because that's how it seems right now. But there has to be some type of other story there. Otherwise, that nigga just kidnapped the bitch. Like, literally, just kidnapped. Like, fuck you, bitch. You're mine now. Like, whoa, what the fuck? That's some, that's some hardcore shit. I mean, damn. With this type of anime, which is supposed to be comedy fantasy, having a motherfucking kidnapping in this shit, that's not really funny. That's not at all. I mean, unless you're into that shit, man. I could laugh away, but me, I'm like, holy shit, he kidnapped that bitch, like, that was one of the important things, the second, the second, was the eat, well, the whole thing with the eating, with the professor, but I'm gonna get into that later, because that was something that was really deep, the third, of course, is the fact that Ben Ten and the professor both met on the same day that they were eating the main character's motherfucking father. The OP ass motherfucking mountain transformer motherfucker. And the thing was, with this dude, he was like calm with death. He like accepted it and the main character finally figured out that Ben Ten's first meal was his father and this professor got to actually talk with him. And it's actually saying shit that he used to say, like, it must be my idiotic blood. Like, shit like that. And then the fourth, and most in this, and it was a really deep ass fucking me and Chu, which I'll talk about a little bit later, is of course, that last line. I'm just like a frog stuck in a well. Who never knew anything of the ocean.
word speechless. The deep intensity that you could, and the under, you know, like, you know how I am. I like the deep meanings. That was a deep, cold-ass line. And even though, if you really think about it, it starts to go, but don't overthink it, because if you overthink it, then you'll start misconstruing what it actually means. You gotta take it as it is. I'm just a frog stuck in this well. Knowing nothing of the ocean. See, that type of shit, like... It was so deep. And also, this main character fucking has a crush on Ben 10, so fuck it, why not? And he doesn't hate the professor, even though he ate his dad. But let's get on to the most important part of this shit. Well, and Ben 10 is the one who comes and she just cries right next to the well every night, staring at the moon or some shit. I'm like, fuck it, why not? But the most important thing was that whole thing about the eating. Oh, don't you fucking tripping if you think I'm going to go word for word for that shit. Because that was, that was, that was good ass wording and I had understood, it had like, it just basically brought shit to light. Like, we as humans eat so many creatures. Yeah, we ourselves are not threatened by other creatures. And it's kind of sad, isn't it? That even though we're in species just like all these other animals, we'll never really provide anything with the nutrients. Like when we die, we just, like he said, he doesn't want to die in an old hospital. He would rather die to give a life to something else that and I was father he said I just hope I don't taste horrible that, that shit it was it's like wordless I mean it's talking about something that's really fucking common I mean we as humans were the top fucking predator nothing really hunts us we hunt everything else we kill everything else and it makes you wonder how the animals feel I mean you, some people say they don't feel. Some people say they do. Doesn't matter. I mean, think about it like in a position of we eat it to taste. We we eat to make things taste good. I believe they said that one time. So I'm like, fuck it, why not? But the thing is that we eat. Yet when we die, we're not. It's usually not because we're eating and we're pr providing nourishment. Like so many of our prey have, technically speaking, we didn't we didn't go out and like fucking like fight these niggas like like a fucking giraffe or some shit like ah like no we didn't do that shit but I mean it's kind of like that sense of what do we do when we die we just we just get put in the ground or we get burned and then we get eaten by microbiotic cells that break our body down into dust and that was that was some real shit I mean. And how it was coming from the mouth of an animal. That's what I really liked. How he's like, at least I get to provide nourishment for people. I would rather die giving life to something else. Or continuing something else's life. Than to just die getting old and sick in a fucking hospital bed. What type of death is that? And this goes into so many motherfucking levels. Like, for instance, the dying old thing. Some people, they prefer to die old. and Some people, though, they'd rather go out fighting or go out for something that's, be, that's apparently higher than they are. Like, for a cause. Some people, they don't care when they die. If they die, they die. It's the natural course of life. And some people, oddly enough, they don't ever think about death. They try to hide it from themselves, and that's one of those things that I don't really like. I mean, when you try to hide from your own mortality, it leads to things that shouldn't be led to. You become arrogant and selfish, but if you live knowing you're mortal, your own mortality, in, mo in ex most cases, or some very common cases, 
you become very arrogant and you feel like this world is all about you you become self-centered and only self-aware it's it's one of those things that this episode just was really 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 good I mean was very good I mean that's all I can really describe it as it was it went into such deep subjects about how it feels to be the animal and how we as humans never really have that feeling anymore I mean unless some fucking zombies or vampires come out then fuck it I mean we're gonna be good shit I mean we're most likely gonna kill ourselves before something else comes to kill us I mean let's be honest let's be fucking honest with that shit and those deaths technically speaking considering the way that nature intends and I'm talking like scientific nature like everything dies and evolves that's scientific nature that's nature but it also has a scientific backing behind it of how it happens and the thing is that odds are that most of us will die like that let's be honest I mean come on you really think that people like war isn't gonna happen it, it's gonna but it brought in that sense of wouldn't you rather die with the cycle of nature than die by 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 man by old you know like that's what I got out of it at least like cause with me I'm thinking like in a sense, we are being returned to the earth when we die, and we get burned and cremated, we turn back to ash. We get eaten by fucking bugs in underground. But the thing about it is that... Are we really dying for nature in the future? I mean, because the future war and fucking bombs and getting you're like that, you're done. There's no nature in that. There's no fighting for survival really it's just fighting to end ourselves that's 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 how I saw it I don't know though because I tend to overthink some things very much I try not to but with this I couldn't help it I mean come on I mean would you rather die like this and immediately be cut from the chain of nature, the chain that brought you life, and the chain that brought your entire species life, and every other thing around you life? Or would you rather be with one with nature, and die knowing that because you died, something else will live? That's, that's one of those questions. It's it's just, this episode was really, really good. I mean, the wording in it. I know it was about eating shit. Like, literally, that was the entire thing. Like, I love eating all types of shit. And, but at the end of the day, I mean, it was so good. The way it went, the way it flowed, it really gets one thinking. I mean, that's how nature is. That's how life it should have been. That's how life is currently for all animals. You kill in order to survive. And you die in order to provide life for another. That, that, that cycle was how nature intended it to be. Yet we also came from nature, God, science, whichever you would like to prefer. Me personally, I'm going to say nature on the fact that the Earth's been here for millions of fucking years. And we've only been here for about 10,000, 15,000 years. And the idea that God created Earth and all this other shit at the exact same fucking time doesn't seem very logical to me considering that Earth was here millions of fucking you know, years before we ever even set foot on this bitch 
So, and I'm going to go with science. But if you believe in God, go ahead and do you. Me, personally, I'm not saying I don't believe in God. No, no. I'm more of, there could be, but in the end, I want it to be a surprise. Like, I don't, I don't cut my options down. I want it to be a surprise. Like, that's, that's how I feel. I want it to surprise me. Be like, whoa. So this is how death is. I don't want to have to have an idea already pre into my mind about what death is like. I want to actually experience it. But not unlike some, I want to experience it now. Hell no, fuck that shit. I want to experience it when the time comes for me to experience it like the time will come for everybody else in their own right to experience it. But... And it just brings out that cycle of nature and how everything goes, how it turns. It's really good. This episode. Oh my god, there's been too many good things coming out lately. I mean, literally. I don't know if I can take it that much more. Oh my god. These videos, like, literally, I finally got past my my hump, and then, then I watched you, this episode and a couple other things I've seen this week so far, technically speaking, if you wanted to call it last week, and they're pretty good, I mean. I know that I, technically speaking, only pick things that I like, and so that's usually why they get, they don't really go down in the ratings. Yeah, that's, that's technically somewhat true. Yes, it is. I mean, if I didn't like it, why the fuck would I watch it? But if they do some bullshit, hell yeah, I'm going to call them out. I call out all the bullshit I see. You best believe that shit. But with this, I mean, it was just so well-spoken. And I know I probably over-exaggerated it a lot. But the fact that it was able to make me think that hard... Because, I mean, I watched the episode like one hour ago. I was steady thinking about that for one hour before I decided to even make this video. If you would have saw me after I watched this shit, my mouth was, my jaw was hit, my jaw fucking hit the flow, my tongue rolled down, and my eyes went white. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was like, Ooh. like I was done. I was done. I didn't know what to think, what to do do what to say I'm gonna give this episode good rating that it deserves this episode I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 it was epic it was like a mind fuck in a way but not really I mean fucking high school DXD and then this shit I mean, come on. The, the way that it was spoken. And if you just went past it without paying attention, I suggest that you rewatch it. I really do. And try to think about you yourself as that animal or you yourself as that person. Because, technically speaking, there was one animal and one person discussing what it is like whether you want to be on the eating side or the being eaten side. And even though the being eaten side, aka the main character, was stuck on you shouldn't eat, even the eating side, aka the professor, the old dude, the college professor, the human, he said that he would much rather be eaten than to die an old death. While the things that are being eaten which would much rather age than die, you know, than, than be eaten. So it was a nice twist. That's why I'm going to give it a 9.5. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. Like the video if you like it. Dislike if you don't. Dis if you disagree with me, subscribe for more. See you later, my motherfuckers.